They're dancing! Oh, look at that. Look at the ninja Chuka moves as they dance! Oh, that is so fresh, yes! Dance, Chocobos, dance! <laughs> Look at him go! Look at him go! Shake what your mama Chocobo gave you! Quark! I wonder if there's supposed to be a tilde over there. Receive Chocomog materia. Chocomog, you say? And that is... Oh, it's... Summon materia. Red materia is summon materia. The... That allows you to summon Chocomog. What the Chocomog materia does is, it is a wind elemental attack. Remember that boss over at the Shinra building who was weak to wind? This is the sort of wind they were talking about. The Chocomog Summon is a Moogle running in a Chocobo that bashes into the enemies. It's really cool to watch, and I suggest you look up a YouTube video of it or something. The alternate attack, the Chocomog has an alternate attack, is Fat Chocobo, which is quite literally what it says on the tin. Fat Chocobo falls on your enemies. One interesting thing is that the more your summon materia is leveled up, the more times you can use a summon in a fight. As you can see, it's only one star right now, and when it gets mastered, you can use a summon up to five times in a fight. After that, it gets blacked out as if you didn't have enough MP. However, this is a command materia challenge, so Chocomog, I will not be requiring your services. You can take a long vacation. Before I return your materia to the live stream. Bye bye! Fantastic. See, that's why the Chocobos entrusted me with their materia, because they knew I was going to return their friend to the live stream, and they thanked me for it. Isn't that right, Chocobo? Yeah, he's thanking me. Work! Or, work! Or, however that goes. Dum dee dum dee dum dee doo. Hello, sir! Wanking across in the marshes. Choco Bill? Yeah, it's the only way to go, isn't it? Hmm. Then it'll probably be safer for you to get a chocobo. Why not? That way you can zip through the marshes with the chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zalem. Oh, yeah, we don't want that to happen, do we, guys? Trust me on this one. Midgar Zalem? Yeah, that's what you just said. It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. Picks up on footsteps that enter the marshes. Mm-hmm. And then BAM! Your attacks! That doesn't sound very fun at all. Avoid that by a Chocobo at Chocobilly and Chocobilly's Chocobo Farm. Choco Billy wants me to put the name twice, but it's Choco Bill and Choco Billy Chocobo Farm. Don't tell him I said that. To purchase a Chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in the Chocobo stables at the far right end of the farm. Interesting. And there's an inn over here, as possibly previously mentioned. And if you just walk in there, then Choco Bill will go in there. However, we don't want to cure this fury on Eris yet, because we still need to see... Uh, breath of the Earth. We still need to see Eris's Breath of the Earth. Let me break. So, this is where Choco Billy is. That looks like a little boy. You say? Welcome. Yeah. That's what she says. Welcome. Hello, Choco Billy. You, you want to choke him out? Mmm, give me one. That Megar Zalem sounds like bad news. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks? Yep, we're old folks, Cloud. I mean, you were made in 1997 on the PlayStation, so yeah, you're old folks. I'm circa 1987, but that's beside the point. 
We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of those ones out there for someone else. Ah. Oh. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. You want to know how to catch a chocobo? Where are the chocobos? They are located on those chocobo tracks outside. Anywhere you see chocobo tracks on top of bright green grass. How do I catch one? I buy greens from that little businessman. I, f I use it as an item in battle. I use it on the chocobo. That way it doesn't run away. Then I kill all the enemies around it without harming the chocobo, and I immediately catch it. What else? What else? I immediately ride the chocobo, and when I dismount the chocobo, it runs away. So I'm not interested. I already know everything. I'm a master chocobo rider. Well then, shall we get down to business? I'll sell you the chocobo lure for 2,000 gil, right now. Heck, that sounds like a great deal. Buy it, Cloud. Thanks. It wouldn't hurt to buy some greens, either. Whoa, dude, what kind of operation are you running here? Oh, oh, you're talking about chocobo feed. Yeah, yeah, okay, that, that, that might be cool. Oh, and how fast a chocobo will finish eating depends on what type of greens you feed them. How fast they run. Interesting. Interesting. So, I have a, I have some Lasan nuts. How much are those? 300 gil a piece. That's not bad at all. Here, I'll give you those. You give me back some of, this, of the gil that I just gave you for that thing. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to get some Mimit Greens for some reason. I'm pretty sure I only need one for what's to come, but you never know. You just never know. Alright, thank you, Choco Billy. So let's take a look at this. At this Chocobo Materia. It attracts a Chocobo. So if I equip the Chocobo Lure and go out into the tracks on the outside. Then I will get into a battle with a chocobo, and then I can catch the chocobo and I can ride it across the marshes. Oh, wait. Um. Did I just trash our only chances of getting a chocobo? Hmm. I don't have to think about this for a while. Hey, Billy! You have, do you have another one, don't you? Mm hmm. My autopilot for sending materia to the planet. It has failed me. So, what are we gonna do now? Sorry, guys. My bad. My bad. Ugh. You were supposed to use that chocobo lure to get a chocobo to go across the marshes. And I'm pretty sure that the Migar Zalam is, uh, bad news. Let's just take a look. Oh, there it is. There's the Migar Zalam. Uh, hey, let's go encounter the final enemy that we can find in this area, yeah? L l let's go exploring, huh? <laughs> uh, this isn't good. Another back attack on those same two enemies. Same two, three Vulture type enemies. I think the game is trying to get my other two characters to level up before I get that certain enemy skill. Yes, I'm searching for an enemy who has an enemy skill. Aha! We finally found you. You know, I think that we needed to have an ally with a level that is, um... Uh, what is it called? You know, it's divisible by four. I don't remember what that's called. But, a multiple, thank you very much. I... My... My college degree in English is paying off very nicely. Oh, please don't kill him. Please don't kill it, Nanaki. Oh, thank you. That is a moo or a mew. Something like that. So let's get a sense for it. We got 
new, it's level 12, and it's 210 max HP. Wow, that's pretty nice. So anyways, I think that we really needed a, an ally to have a level with a multiple of four in order to spawn them, because they have a very special ability that they do, if he will go ahead and use it. It's an enemy skill, and Sewer is not the enemy skill. Just like Blue Magic in the past Final Fantasy games, it's enemy skills I have learned by being hit with the skill in question. Once an ally gets hit with the enemy skill, they do a fancy twirl around, and poof, they know the enemy skill, and can use it as soon as they have it equipped. As you saw when we got hit with Match or Magic, uh, we were able to use Match or Magic as soon as it was done. And now I am waiting for the Mew, the Moo, however you say it, to use Match or Magic. In the meantime, Eris used Breath of the Earth. Breath of the Earth heals all status ailments. And since we didn't have any status ailments, and here it is! Level 4 Suicide! Meaning that if your level is uh, a multiple of 4, it's suicide to go into battle. And what the heck happened to Eris there? Because her level was a multiple of 4, it could actually affect her. Uh, if you look... Magics, enemy skill... Um, Wait. Oh yes, Cloud has the enemy skill. I switched things around a bit. So, non-elemental damage to all opponents is match or magic. Level 4 suicide causes critical and small with levels and multiples of 4. So, we're gonna have lots of fun using level 4 suicide on every enemy we come across, seeing which ones I can minify from doing it. And that happened to be another point on my cheat sheet, so let me go ahead and cross that out. By the way, Harris, uh, your abilities have been much useful, so I am going to switch you out with the PHS to give somebody else a chance for the spotlight. Your materia will be better used by the person who actually goes into the party. Alright, who wants a little bit of action? Mm, Tifa, seeing you in action a little bit, so welcome back on the team. We'll give you your complimentary steel and sense materials for the road. So, now that we have everything there is to get, ugh, it's time to enter the marshes. If this were a regular playthrough, here's how it would work. You would grab a fire materia, and if you recall in the Shinra building, the mayor gives you an elemental materia. You, you slap the fire here, and the elemental here. That gives your armor a fire element, and with that fire element, you would be able to take less damage from that element. Why would we need element to fire? Well, I'm pretty sure you all know already. It's in order to survive a certain attack. However, this is a command materia challenge. We cannot employ the use of other materia in any other way. Except for where it's unavoidable, such as Cloud being forced to equip the two magics at the beginning of the game. And the uh, whole of you. And Cloud being unable to equip the Prianta materia during the flashback. So, how in the world are we going to survive? Make our Zalam here. First off, everybody in the back row. Second off, take your tranquilizers. That's right, we're going to employ the use of sadness in order to survive this fight. Crawling in my skin! Okay, enough of that. Oh, come on, Cloud, don't be such a baby. At least I'm not forcing you to take hypers. Those are suppositories. <laughs> Why would I say that? 
Alright, so now we're all in the back row. We're all sad as all get out. 